Russia unveils advanced helmet-mounted targeting system for Su-57 fighter jet. Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis, your trusted source for independent military insights and analysis. Let's dive into the latest advancements in global defense technology. Russia's Su-57 fifth-generation fighter has received a significant technological boost with the unveiling of a state-of-the-art helmet-mounted targeting system. This new development aims to address performance gaps previously observed between the Su-57 and its American and Chinese counterparts, the F-35 and J-20. Much like the systems utilized by these rivals, the Su-57's new helmet projects critical information onto the visor, including targeting and flight data. By integrating this system with the aircraft's sensors, it enhances the pilot's situational awareness and operational effectiveness. Although the Su-57's helmet provides a comprehensive view of the operational environment, it lacks integration with a distributed aperture system. DAS. This subsystem, a key feature of the F-35 and J-20, enables pilots to see through their aircraft using optical sensors, offering unparalleled threat detection and situational awareness. While the absence of a DAS is a drawback, the Su-57 compensates with a unique arrangement of 5 to 6 active electronically scanned array AESA, radars dispersed across its airframe. This radar system provides a broader coverage compared to the single radar systems on the F-35 and J-20. However, the Su-57's high off-bore sight targeting capabilities remain limited due to the absence of missiles comparable to China's PL-10 or America's AIM-9X Block II. A missile capable of matching these advanced systems is reportedly under development, but it has yet to enter service. Key features and upgrades of the Su-57 The Su-57, designed for air superiority and strike missions, boasts several key features. Stealth capabilities its radar cross-section reducing design enhances survivability in contested airspaces. Advanced sensors. Equipped with AESA radars and infrared search and track systems, it provides robust detection and tracking capabilities. High maneuverability. Vector thrust engines allow exceptional agility, crucial for dogfighting scenarios. Integrated weapon system. It can carry a wide range of air-to-air, air-to-ground, and precision-guided munitions. Recent upgrades reflect Russia's efforts to maintain the Su-57's relevance in modern warfare. In addition to the helmet system, footage of radar cross-section reducing engine nozzles was recently unveiled, further enhancing the aircraft's stealth. Increased production of the Su-57 signals a strategic push to modernize Russia's air force as it lags behind the United States and China in developing sixth-generation fighters. Potential influences behind the upgrades the Su-57 has undergone intensive combat testing in high-stakes environments, including the Ukrainian conflict. These operations have ranged from precision strikes to suppression of enemy air defenses, exposing the aircraft to some of the most demanding combat scenarios of its generation. This real-world experience may have underscored the importance of advanced helmet systems in enhancing combat effectiveness. Additionally, Joint exercises with China's J-20 of may have provided Russian forces insights into the operational advantages offered by superior helmet-mounted systems. Conclusion Russia's ongoing investment in upgrading the Su-57 reflects its commitment to bridging technological gaps with its global rivals. As it continues to refine and modernize this fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57 remains a cornerstone of Russia's air combat strategy, even as the country faces challenges in advancing to the sixth-generation fighter era. Thank you for tuning in to Global Defense News and Analysis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on cutting-edge military developments. Share this with others who are passionate about defense technology. We'll see you in the next report.